good morning, it's Sunday morning, and we're going to have breakfast. Polar research is vital for us to understand the world we live in. During International Polar Year, researchers have been focusing on two areas, increasing our knowledge of the global climate and finding out more about the people who lived in the polar regions thousands of years ago. Swedish polar research has a long history and is still very active. With the help of unique images taken by polar researchers, we depart on a global journey to five different Swedish polar projects. It's in the polar regions that changes in the global climate are greatest and where they first appear. 100 years ago, researchers were already investigating the so-called Great Glacier, about 100 kilometers west of Kiruna in Sweden's far north. And in 1946, a few energetic postgraduates measured the effect of movement and changes in the climate on the glacier's growth and shrinkage. No other glacier in the world has been measured continually for so long. And now researchers note that it's thawing at an increasing pace. Because measuring has been going on for so long, researchers looking at other glaciers around the world, in the Himalayas for example, are able to interpret their findings, thanks to the great glacier in Tafala. The Antarctic, with a surface area as great as China and India together, is the coldest and windiest place in the world. The mean temperature at the continent's center is minus 55 degrees Celsius, that's minus 65 Fahrenheit. But minus 90 Celsius, or minus 130 Fahrenheit, was measured in the early 1980s. But that doesn't phase the Swedish-Japanese research team. Here they have access to a unique climate library. By core drilling up to 2.8 kilometers through the ice, researchers can plot changes in the climate and environment hundreds of thousands of years back in time. The scientists see how the presence of carbon dioxide varied in history. And they see that current levels are higher than ever before. The effect on climate from man and industrialized society is obvious. Over the last 30 years, the quickest rise in temperature in the world has been here, in the region around the East Siberian Sea. Researchers believe that the increased heat has allowed the release of greenhouse gases from plant life and other organic material lying hidden under Siberia's permafrost. Frozen for thousands of years, it's now slowly thawing. Swedish researchers in an international group take samples from the water and the sea floor to see how much greenhouse gas is leaking out. Back to Sweden and Lake Luspasjari in Lapland, near the Norwegian border. There was a population here 5,000 years ago. Archaeological studies this far north are extremely unusual, and then often riding on the back of excavations for construction, buildings, roads and railways. This is common practice in the south, but there are no roads leading to Lake Luspasjare. Now the Arctic Sweden project has brought together archaeologists, zoologists and geologists to find out more about how people lived here thousands of years ago and what their climate was like. 
Today this is above tree line, but the researchers think that the tree line 5,000 years ago was higher, since they've noted that for a long period people made fires here, producing considerable heat. It's thought they were for making different types of tools for hunting and preparing skins. Another part of the project studies the Arctic fox. It's solitary, patient work. For many, the Arctic fox symbolizes the northernmost mountain regions. It's also the official animal of Lapland province. Researchers want to find out how to save the Arctic fox. Ever since the wild hunt for fur at the beginning of the 20th century, it's been an endangered species. One of its current enemies, the golden eagle, preys on the fox's young. For 40 days, the icebreaker Odin provided a base for scientists analyzing cloud formation in the Arctic, adding to our climate picture. The conditions for cloud are different here from anywhere on Earth. Conditions for researchers are also different. One of the original settlers might appear all of a sudden, so it's good to check that everyone's on board. The Swedish team made a number of discoveries in the Arctic. They'll lead to better models for predicting the climate. The polar regions are uniquely valuable for researchers, especially for climate study. This makes polar research one of the most important research areas of our time.